Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another house building video. Uh, this one is called Rock Pool because as it may be obvious from the thumbnail, it's kind of a pool that has a bunch of rocks around it. Also, I believe, I think it's the name of a suburb here in Sydney as well. Because uh, I'm pretty sure that's where they got the idea for it. I mean, also there's there are things called Rock Pools, which are basically little pools with rocks around. Anyway, that's where the name came from, believe it or not, the fact that I used a pool and some rocks. Now, uh, I really wanted to do this build because if you guys have been watching my Dine Out Rags to Riches series, uh, which is a let's play that I do here on the channel, which is all about making restaurants um, and earning money from those and, and, you know, working our way up from nothing to be the richest people in the world. Uh, we built a restaurant in that uh, that was completely underneath a pool and that had like skylights and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and this was based, this was born directly out of that. I wanted to build a house that, you know, was built underneath a pool that had uh, these skylights going through the water and windows into the pool and all this kind of crazy stuff. Uh, but I wanted to take it to the next level. I really wanted this to look like, it's, yeah, within reason, a, a natural looking lake or something. Obviously, it's The Sims. It's never going to look like a lake because we don't actually have like a pond tool or anything like that and we also don't have terrain tools for that matter so you know i can't make it look nice and hilly but i did my best and i think i think it turned out really really cool you'll see it develop here over time um so we're using those little skylight little they're not skylights they're actually dance floors we're using those from a uh, good old get together if you need some good items in your game get together can recommend uh because i actually use a lot of the stuff from get together in this if i recall um yeah. Anyway, got myself a cup of coffee. I actually, I probably should have made this cup of coffee after this video, um, because I'm going to have to drink it throughout it. Hang on. Mm. I've noticed that it's becoming um, a common occurrence for me to be drinking, uh, like, coffees or something during uh, during time-lapse videos especially. I don't know what it is. I, I usually make the coffee at the wrong time. So that's a bit of a fun fact. Uh, but yeah, of course, this house is available for download on the gallery. You can click the link in the description down below. That will take you to the download page. Uh, it will also... No, that's what it will do. That's exactly what it will do. I was going to say, you can also search for it by searching hashtag the sim supply. Obviously, my YouTube username as one word. My origin ID is also just the sim supply as one word. Same as the channel, just without the spaces, and you'll be able to find me there. So now, what I'm doing here is you can see I've made sort of somewhat of an island kind of thing. That's because I wanted to have windows from the house into the pool. And you can't put pool sections, like pool, um, you just can't build a pool underneath another pool. Like you can't have a two-story pool. So I had to remove this section of the pool up here, leave a gap, and then build the pool on the, le the, the level below. So what I've kind of done, when we build it all up, I decorate it, make it look kind of like, um, I guess like a little islandy, not an island, just part of the, uh, part of the terrain. And then it's kind of like, uh, what do you call them? Um... You know, when you see all those pictures of people like abseiling down into like the underwater cave systems um, and they go down these sort of little rock well, I don't know, what the hell is it called? Cliff dive? No, that's that's just diving off a cliff. Um, oh, there's a name for it. There's a, It's on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, that's kind of the inspiration for that. So we had like this hole and then when it's like surrounded by rocks and it sort of goes down to this lower level pool, which I thought was really cool. And it also sort of solved the problem of, you know, getting some windows down the bottom. I can't remember what the, what it's called. I'm sure you guys will know in the comments. So thank you in advance. Oh, oh, yeah, you, that, that one that just commented then. Fantastic. Really, thanks so much. Um, and I'm just sort of expanding, expanding, expanding that little section so I can add a little bit more pool in there as well because I, I just wanted to get a little bit more water underneath. And also, actually, no, I, actually, I don't know if I did. Ex no, I didn't expand the pool there. That's a lie. Huh, I probably should have, but it, it's too late now and it doesn't really matter. Uh, but no, I, I actually built that bit just so it looked like it was connected to the uh, the side of the lake, just so it wasn't as floaty. Uh, so the entrance of this, I didn't want the entrance to look like super manufactured. I kind of wanted to look, make it look like entering a cave within reason. Again, this is The Sims, The Sims 4, there's only so much I can do. So I kind of just made like this little crappy out, like outcrop, crop, crappy? I meant rocky. Rocky outcrop. <laughs> um, with, yeah, just like this little sunken bit there with a bunch of rocks around it. So it looks like you're sort of uh, walking down into the entrance of this cave. Obviously, it's not a cave because there's like a perfectly beautiful a regular house door on the front. But, you know, you get the idea. I think it looks really, really cool, especially with all these rocks. I really love the stairs just sort of going over the rocks. Like, it kind of just goes over the top. And especially using those sort of um, metal stairs as well, which uh, if you've... Uh, I think it was um, a cave in... Where was it? it must have been... Was it, where was it? Was it... It must have been in Perth. Was 
Yeah, it was in Perth because it was near um, Margaret River area. I think there's a few caves around there. We went one. We went. To, we went to a cave there when I was visiting there a few years ago, and um, they had like uh, so you walk down all the way down into this cave area, and they had like all these metal stairs all the way down. Anyway, that's just what it reminded me of, I guess. <laughs> Having those sort of metal stairs going over the rocks, I just thought it looked kind of cool. Actually, I don't think there were metal stairs. I think they were wooden there. Maybe they were metal. I don't know. Someone from the Margaret River area will know. Thanks in advance again. Um, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, just getting loads more rocks because I really wanted to disguise the sort of lip of the pool. Obviously, there's still little bits and pieces here uh, that are exposed. I wasn't too worried about leaving little bits of the sort of pool edge exposed because I was going to use the sort of natural pool edging. And then also we're going to put a bunch of shrubs and plants and all that kind of grass and stuff over it just to make it look um, a little bit more natural you know i mean as natural as it can because at the end of the day this is quite obviously a pool just raised above the ground uh but it, i think it's pretty cleverly disguised I'm, I'm like i think it looks super cool i think i really think it does it took me forever just placing all these rocks as well i think the most annoying thing about move objects on is when you raise up an item and then you go to place another one it just resets the level again it really needs to i, I really wish i would oh, you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna tweet them i'm gonna say New tweet, at SimGuruHout, when we use, I'll say Moo, because it's Move Objects on, to raise an item and then place it, can it please maintain the height for the next, well, for the, the item still in our hand? Please and Thanks. Oh, I can't fit thanks in. Oh, no! I'll say plus and thunks. No, that just that just seems like I'm being rude. Uh, I'll say in our hand. Thanks! Big happy face. There we go. Tweeted. <laughs> now, if you find that tweet, you'll know exactly when I recorded this commentary. Uh, it's only a few hours before it goes out. Actually, about 12 hours before this video will go out, so you'll be able to find it there. Um, thanks, buddy! No, because that, that actually that annoys me more than... It, more than anything that and actually when you scale an item as well if you scale up an item and then go to place it again it'll go back to the original size that also if that could save between item placements that would be tops um i should say you know what let me add that on uh ps could it do it with no not could because i i don't like he hasn't said yes to the other one um <laughs> ps if uh, it could maintain object size. That'd be sweet too. Smiley face. And then PPS. E <laughs> I'm typing these tweets in a house build video. Another big smiley face. There we go. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Know, I don't know what time it is over there. Let me check. It's probably like the middle of the night or something. Um, anyway, yeah, that's a bit of fun, just tweeting in the video. Oh no, it's only 9.30pm. I mean, obviously it's out of work hours, but... I mean, at least, at least I'm not tweeting him at like 3am. That'd be, that'd be rude, you know? So that's good. Um, anyway, that should happen. Uh, right. Oh, this is looking really good. This is looking really, really good. I was just looking over at Twitter this whole time, but I've just looked back at the, the progress and... <laughs> oh, no, I... No, but all, all jokes aside, um... I, I'm really, really happy with this this one. Um, I think the rock, like obviously the rocks. If you look up close at all the rocks, they are pretty blurry just because of how much I scaled them up. But at a at a distance like we're at now, where you're sort of just looking at it as an overview, I think it looks really, really cool. Uh, like, and it works really, really well. The problem is um, because the rocks are actually so small. When you zoom out just a little bit, the like the level of detail of the rocks drops because they're so small. Um, but that it doesn't really matter because it still it still looks really really cool I think, uh, and I really like how that sort of faux waterfall thing turned out. I'm surprised it actually worked. I didn't know if like the little water jets would go through the wall because um, I put I put those like little uh, water jets in the raised pool and sort of instead of like pouring out into the other one, I couldn't get them. Obviously, it would have been better to have the water pouring over from the the actual top of the pool, but. The, if I did that, then the the water splash wouldn't actually the water splash would be floating. So it looked better doing it sort of halfway up up the wall um, than you know having it floating anywhere. Um, this just in, no response from Simguru House yet. Um, 
Thought I'd just keep you updated on that one. Uh, anyway, so moving on. So this is just going to be a house. This is, I was originally going to make it like super modern, which is my usual style. And I really love, like, I really love the look of a modern house. I, I really, really do. But I think because this was like, it, it's almost got like a hobbit hole kind of vibe to it. I mean, apart from the fact that it's underneath a pool and has, you know, skylights into the water, it's kind of got that sort of, that sort of feel. So I made it much more, um, not cottagey. It's kind of, it's kind of old English style, really, actually, if I think about it, because it's using all these sort of old dark wood. But, oh, believe me, I'm describing it, but I don't think it does it justice. Just, just wait. Just wait. Because I think the living space, oh, that's my favorite, because you get these huge windows around the pool, and then you get all these, and you get the skylight, and oh, it looks so, so cool. And right here, you can see the amount of trouble I'm having with the layout, because not only is this thing in a basement underneath a pool, but it's also diagonal. Like most of this build is actually on a diagonal, um, which in case you don't know, if you've ever built in The Sims uh, using, you know, like a diagonal floor plan, it's much, much more, like much, much more difficult. I don't know why I said it like that. It's much harder to sort of do a layout and furnish and get it all to flow correctly. As you can see, I'm <laughs> very much struggling right now to get one that works. I was also trying to line it up with the the skylights. I keep calling, I'm, I'm just gonna keep calling them skylights because technically they're dance floors, but that just sounds stupid. I'm trying to line up all the walls with the skylights as well, because uh, it never looks good when you have a wall going straight through the middle of it. Um, but I do end up changing the layout of them a little bit later on just to make it flow a little bit nicer. So in the end, I settled for a hallway that just has like a little bit of a kink in it. So it sort of just, it just goes around a little bit of a corner, which I think looks perfectly fine. And with that, I'm going to take a sip of me coffee. Mm. Hope you've got like a tea or a coffee or... Or something with you. Tell me what you're drinking right now. Be interesting to know. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much the layout. So we have three bedrooms. Uh, we're gonna we we ended up with two double bedrooms, and one double bedroom is huge and has like a ensuite bathroom. Uh, the other one is just a nice double bedroom. It's still pretty damn big. And then we have a nice single bedroom that I decorated for just a kid or whatever. So right here is where I was deciding what kind of look I wanted to go for. Like uh, I was trying to choose the floors, and I think that was the hardest part. But that's kind of what drove the rest of the build. Like I, I made. All the floors wooden, and I was like, okay, I know what look I want to go for now. Because um, initially I'd done like all this stone and tiling, and I was like, oh, oh, it didn't really suit it. I don't know, it didn't really suit it for me. Uh, at least I didn't think it did. Oh, I really, I really like how the kitchen turns out, actually. I think, oh, 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 that was me getting excited and doing a little bit of a dance. I think my favorite part. Apart from the fact that it looks really awesome from the outside, I think my favorite part of the interior is the kitchen. I don't know. I don't know what it is about the kitchen, but I think it looks really, really cool. You'll see it soon. I don't know. I'm just, I'm super enthusiastic about this build. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, also, in case you can't tell, coffee is definitely kicking in right now. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, so I decided to keep that because I was, I could have very easily remove that wall to where the hallway is and had it just as one open plan area and just walk into the hallway there. Uh, but I decided to keep the hallway and that separate, like, and the the foyer of the house separate just so there's kind of that sound barrier. So, like, sound wouldn't carry all the way down the hallway to the bedroom. So it's kind of just that separation between the living space and all the bedrooms. And I'm just getting all that sort of uh, long grass as well down there and the ivy on the walls just to really, just to decorate the underwater space here. I didn't do any fish uh, in this sort of lake area. We could have used the debug signs to get some fish swimming around. Uh, didn't do that. Uh, because the thing is, I think... I, I don't know how this would run on other computers. Because there's a lot of rocks. Like, there are a lot of rocks. I didn't want to add too much on the outside that I didn't need to. Although, I don't know if fish would have made that much of a difference. Uh, I guess... Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just don't know how laggy this lot would be. Because the thing is... Sims 4 is great up until a point. And that point is generally when you have a billion items placed. <laughs> Which is, I've done this twice in the past. One I did recently was the apartment complex build, which you haven't, if you haven't seen, you should probably go ahead and check out because the apartment complex build is awesome. There's four parts of it, it's incredible. But because there was so much stuff, it just, it, the frame rate would just tank and it's, it's so laggy. The other one I did was the cop shop build. Uh, Let's Build a Cop Shop is the name of the series, which you should check out if you haven't already, because it is actually pretty damn awesome. So that was where I built a police station for Get to Work. Um, and it was so cool. I, I, I go back and look at it every time, and I'm like, this is awesome. But because there's so, so many items, it just looks it's like the frame rate just tanks. Uh, so I've done it a couple of times before, and I always... 
I mean, it, you have to place a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff to actually get to that point. But I'm always just wary of it. I think it's just better if if I don't need to add more stuff. I shouldn't, I think. I think that's what I'm learning. Anyway, yeah, look at this kitchen. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but I really like it. Um, I think, I don't know. I think it's something about like this, like the, the combination of the stone walls, wooden floors, and just like the whole sort of, uh, it's not really old English, but the sort of, I don't know, like the... I don't know. I don't know the terms. I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not an architect. I don't know design terms. Uh, the the wooden vibe of it. I don't know. There's some. There's something about it that just really speaks to me, and I really, really like the look of this place. I mean, yeah, it's really brown, but it's supposed to be so. Because I, I bet I'll get comments about that. It's like it's so brown though. Uh, yeah, you're not wrong. You are definitely just describing what it looks like. So good job. Good job. Um, yeah, just. Decorating a little bit of a kitchen, and on that on that note, another sip of me coffee because I'm running low on energy now. <laughs> I'm not though. No. Hang on. Mm. Good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This this build was really fun. I also did a uh, a build recently in a live stream, which I haven't even posted to my channel or. Like I haven't, I haven't posted it to my website. Like I probably should get on that actually, because there's no reason you can't watch the stream back. But the thing is, I didn't record the build separately from the live stream, but I wanted to. It, the live stream was really a test uh, of what I was trying to build because uh, I got, I had uh, two part, two three day passes to PAX Australia to give away. So I thought, okay. In this stream, why don't we try building like uh, like a, a convention center and we have like all these booths and all that. And, and we built one. It was like a really small one just to test it out. And it looked so, so cool. It looked really cool. And now I really want to build a convention center, uh, like a really big one. But I know if I build that, especially if I fill all the booths, it's going to lag. Um, but I think I want to do it anyway. I think I want to do it. Let me know your thoughts because it would be a multi-parter. Because uh, it'd be a, it'd be a long build. It'd be many many parts, uh, somewhat along the lines of probably even longer than the apartment complex build. That was like four parts. Um, it'd probably be longer than that because if it's it would be on a sixty four by sixty four lot, and it would just be me going all out, building a convention center. Probably a couple of like there'd be a couple of, like uh, present presentation theaters in there. There'd be like the show floor, and you'd have like a food court. Probably I don't know. I don't know. There's so many. I don't know. I just got really excited when I was building it. I was just like, oh, this is gonna be good. I don't know if that's something you want to watch. I don't know. I just I just really like building things in Sims that are just different. That's that's one thing that I've always loved since the very start was. Uh, and I think I've, I think I've told this story somewhere before, but uh, as as a kid, because I played, um, I've been playing The Sims since like The Sims One, and I so I that's and I was like six years old when that game came out, like so two thousand, I was like six years old, but I've been playing it since. Um, and in The Sims One, I always used to love building, like I I would build like schools, you know, like I don't I don't know what I think it was because I watched Recess, like the TV show. Whoops, sorry, I just dropped something I had in my hands. Um, I think it was because I watched the TV show Recess, and like they had like I think I. I didn't, I didn't recreate the school, but I think it just inspired me to build a school for whatever reason. And I would build like schools and then I built like, um, uh, I think at, at one point in The Sims 2, I tried to rebuild the school I went to, which was a lot of fun. Because it was actually, if I recall, it was actually pretty damn accurate. Um, and it was a lot of fun. It was just something that was just crazy and different. And then, of course, I'd, you'd build, I would build like secret passageways everywhere because why not? Hell yeah, it's awesome. Uh, and then I think I've, I've tried, like I, a lot of people, this is one of the common ones people always ask you like, why don't you build your own house? Um, and I've tried to many times. Sims one, no chance. Sims two, you could kind of get it. I think, I think Sims three was probably the closest I ever, uh, that's probably the, I did, yeah, that would be the closest I could ever get to building my actual house it would be Sims three, just because of, you know, terrain editing, constraint floor elevation, all the colors and patterns you can choose from. So that one would probably be the closest. And then Sims 4, I've never attempted it because there's just no point. Anyway, no, my point was that I just, I've always liked just building weird things and just things that don't really do anything. Um, as, ex I don't know, yeah, as an example, the apartment complex I, I built last time, it doesn't really do anything because it's, you can't actually use it as an apartment. However, they, I mean, they did announce Sims 4 City Living, so I don't know if it'll be, be able to be used in that or what, but who knows, maybe. But um, yeah, that's why I kind of just wanted to build a freaking... Um, conventions. I think I built, 
I don't know if I've ever, I think I've built a shopping center before. Oh, I know what I built once before. I built a, um, I think it was a university campus in The Sims 2. So like, cause in The Sims 2, it was really cool. They didn't have, uh, you guys may remember from The Sims 3, they had uh, The Sims uh, Creator World, The Sims 3 Creator World. So you can make your own custom worlds and all that. In The Sims 2, they didn't have that. But what you could do in The Sims 2, and this is, this is really weird, but really cool. All the neighborhoods in Sims 2 were actually game saves from SimCity 4. Like, I don't know, it's super weird that that was the thing, but that's just how it works. So I went into like SimCity 4, you, you could make your, your layout and all the terrain in that, and then save that and then load it up in Sims 2. Um, so I made like a layout and then I, I put a, I like sort of puzzle piece a bunch of lots together. I made this huge sort of, I guess, puzzle piece of lots that all go together and I had like this huge... Uh, university campus thing. Obviously, I didn't furnish everything because that would be ridiculous, but that was so much fun. That was really cool. That's just another example of, I just love building things that don't really do anything. They're just kind of cool. Um, I don't know. So, yeah, that that's me story on why I want to build a convention center. Also, because it looked really cool. Because uh, I wasn't sure if it was going to look good. That's why I started it off pretty small uh, as a test. But I think it looked really cool. Anyway, on to the double bedroom. Did we only just move on to the bedrooms? Did it take us that long in the living space? I think because I spent a lot, I spent a lot of time trying to decide what to do. Because the living space is pretty damn big, and there's not actually a lot of stuff in The Sims 4. I really hope, and I, I don't think I've seen it. I have to rewatch the trailer, but I really hope they had a pool table. I want, a, I want a pool table in The Sims. It's not The Sims without a pool table. I think I'm pretty sure every Sims game has had a pool table except The Sims 4. We need it back. Hashtag save the pool table. Um, mainly just because it's a really good space filler. <laughs> you can just put it in a huge space and just plonk it down, which is really cool. Mm. Coffee's getting a little bit cold now, so I just want to quickly finish it off. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd keep that bedroom there pretty uh, pretty neat, pretty spick. You know, just clean, modern. Uh, and then this one I had a little bit more fun with. Uh, because these, because uh, I wanted to use the built-in wardrobes a lot more, but... Because the whole house is on a diagonal, it makes it much more difficult. So instead, I'm putting the, the sort of built-in wardrobes not on an angle, but it looks like they're on a diagonal because the rest of the house is. But they don't act, they act... Anyway, that's not the point. I thought it looked really cool just having this weird angled bed in the corner and you have like this this area there that's sort of like the changing area that leads into the ensuite bathroom at the back, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, so that's what I did with it. And then the, the master bedroom just has like a uh, little sitting area built onto it there as well. <sighs> yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, let me just finish my coffee uh, because, like I said, it's just getting a bit cold. It's, and I've said this in previous things as well. Lukewarm coffee is never nice. So, hang on. Mm. Iced coffee and then piping hot coffee. Both great. Lukewarm coffee, not great. Okay, one more. Gone. <laughs> oh, good. Um, that's what happens when I drink a coffee, apparently. Yeah, so I just got a little sitting area in there because this was actually, yeah, again, it's a huge bedroom. I didn't really know what to do in it. If I'm going to be completely honest, I didn't know what to do in it. Because uh, I would have, the thing is, okay, here's the thing. I would have made all of these rooms a lot smaller because the rooms are, they, they're like, this bedroom is gigantic. The reason I didn't, is number one, because of the skylight up above, because the skylight is five by five. So I didn't really want to, and I, I don't mind putting walls through skylights if they if they follow the grid of the skylight, right? Because that looks fine, you can't see it. But the problem with it is because the whole house is on a diagonal, the skylight's on a diagonal, the walls, there's no way in hell they were ever going to line up with the skylight. It just wouldn't work. Um, so I couldn't really cut that in half. And then... In the places that I could add extra rooms, there's no windows. Like, I didn't want to add bedrooms or anything uh, with no windows or skylights. So, that's kind of why the rooms in this place ended up being a little bit bigger. But that's not a problem. It just... I'm just saying it means that it took me a lot longer to figure out what the hell to put in these things. <laughs> there's, like, decorations, a little sitting area, all that kind of stuff. Um, and that's why some of the rooms are a little bit bigger. Especially because on diagonals, things just end up being a little bit larger anyway. Like, that, that bathroom is technically, like, too wide. Uh, on the diagonal. Obviously, if it was not on a diagonal, it would look a little bit different. Oh, just sitting down now. I was standing up that whole time. Um, yeah, anyway. Yeah, so I... As well, because I was trying to fit in that shower. And I was like, there's no room to put the shower. So I just dug a little extra bit back behind there. And just added a shower in. 
and it was all good. I really wish you could add, um, oh, and actually that's something I saw in the, the City Living trailer. Was it a trailer? Maybe it was a screenshot. It kind of looked like they had a window into the basement. Don't know if it was just purely decorative or you can actually have like, because it looked like the window was in a foundation. It could have just been a decorative building that you couldn't go in. Uh, but I'm not sure. Because that would be awesome if you can get windows into basements. I don't know, because they always add, uh, with every, usually with every like expansion pack, they'll add like a new build feature, which is obviously going to be apartments and maybe windows to basements come in. That'd be cool. But then it might have just been a decorative window, a decorative building thing. Where, where is the trailer? I want to find it again. Uh, I've got to, let me scroll down a little bit. I might be able to find it here. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let me load up the trailer. Yeah, the very first shot looks like there's a window into the basement. The very, very... So if you check out the City Living official trailer, the very first shot, like the very first one, there's a window right in there between the stairs. Can't tell if that is a decorative building, because some buildings are not real, I like in The Sims, like they're just kind of there. That could... But it looks like a real building. Everything looks real about it. Like it looks like actual stairs, actual door, not just like a prop building. Uh, and it definitely looks like a window into the basement, but I don't know. I could be wrong, but I really hope it is because that would be awesome. Oh, the penthouse as well. Okay, this is not, sorry, this is not a video about City Lemon. It's just, <laughs> it's just me bringing that up. Because, yeah, if we could uh, if we could get windows to basements, that'd be awesome. Um, yeah. Anyway, so I thought I'd just add some stairs to get to the uh, to the upper, the upper lake, if you will, because I thought it'd be nice to actually swim in it. Because at the moment, there was no way to get up there. And I was going to leave it like that, but then I thought we have this huge, like, that sort of just grassy area up the top there that they could easily access and sort of jump in the pool, have a swim and all that kind of stuff. And of course, just adding a nice, some nice little pathways here and there, giving a little bit of, a little bit of flavor, a little bit of flair. Ooh. Oh, Yeah. That's the sound the pathway makes too. Um, oh, and don't don't worry. There's no bin yet in the kitchen or outside, but I just remembered. There it is. And a post box, because I'm pretty sure I deleted the other post box. I was trying to figure out where it looked good. Not there, it turns out. So I put them down the bottom, because it actually looks much, much better. Then I was like, oh yeah, let me get one in the kitchen and a dishwasher. Not that you need a dishwasher, but I thought we'd just chuck that one in there too. Uh, and then... Oh, there's a bin. I didn't actually put the bin in yet. There you go. Uh, but I think that's pretty much done. Apart from, oh yeah, just adding like a little picnic area. A little, little campfire area out here so you can go have a barbecue. And you can sit on the little picnic bench there. And then I think I put like a little uh, little campfire as well or something. Just sit, sit next, to, next to the lake and enjoy it. Anyway, here are the screenshots. I think that looks really, really cool from the I mean, look at that. That is cool. That is cool. Say what you will about me. But I think this build is cool. That, um, see, that edge of the pool is a little bit, a little bit sheer, but, you know, there's not much I can do about that other than adding more rocks everywhere. And I didn't want rocks absolutely everywhere because we already have a lot of rocks. But anyway, I love how you can see the windows underneath that water there as well. And then you the, the two skylights looking down to the house. Ah, oh, it's cool. It is cool. Here's, this is like the little entrance foyer. Super brown. A little bit of green with the shrubs, so I think it looks okay. I love that kitchen. I really, really love the kitchen so, so much. Oh, and, and just this living area in general with the two skylights up above. And then you have all the windows to the pool area. This is just a few angles of this one room. Have the like little study in the corner, fish tank, you know, the little like TV area looking over the whole room. You can see all the skylights. Ah, oh! and then I thought we'd just have another little shot here looking up where you can see through them. Um, super cool, super cool. Uh, and then just the main bathroom. But again, yeah, if you do want to download this, the link is in the description down below. You can click on that, go down right there, or you can search for hashtag the Sim Supply, or you can just search for the Sim Supply as one word as my origin ID, and you'll be able to find all my downloads there. Uh, here is the kids' room. Uh, lots of color, lots of things on the wall. Nice little frog uh, rug thing. A little classic, just a classic room. Just a classic room. Oh, look at this. The master bedroom with that huge skylight, huge windows into the pool area. Or I guess the, technically the lake area. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. It kind of looks like um, some sort of holiday resort or something, really. But it's someone's house. And then I thought I'd include this picture here just looking at that because like looking from the pool into the house. I thought that was cool. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, the download link is below. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.